tell him, tell him, tell him, fuck 12. Tell him, tell him, tell him, fuck 12. Tell him, tell him, tell him, fuck 12. Tell him, tell him, oh, fuck 12. Don't care if you don't like my style. You know why? Cause we go wild. If I hit a fatty beat, just know we jash it. Don't get chatty, cause you know I'm pushing. Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add any kind of font to your Z Game Editor visualizers, okay? This is game changing because to my knowledge, you weren't able to add uh, any kind of outside fonts this easily, okay? And I say easy, but it's kind of a tedious process, but um, you only got to do it once to be able to use the fonts that you want to use, so... You got to open up an effect called HUD text, all right? You just click this, go to HUD, and it's right here, HUD text. Now, I'm going to go into the Add Content tab and go to Text, and I'm going to just type, My Beat is Dope, okay? You know, you type whatever you want. That's what I'm going to type. Line it up a little bit. All right. Now, I, I want to change this font to something else. You can go down here to font, and it opens up this list of a bunch of different fonts. This goes off of the fonts in your computer already installed. Now, some you may see some fonts are not here, and you may be like, why don't I have my fonts? Like, see up here, this Bebes New is a third-party font, but it doesn't have the bold feature, and that's the one that I like to use a lot. So to put in different fonts, all right, you're going to want to go to this directory, I have it copied right here. It may be different for you, but it's just under your FL Studio 20 folder, your plugins, Fruity, Effects, Z Game Editor, Visualizer, Effects, the HUD effect, and then Fonts. Okay? A long thing there, but I'll, I'll leave this copied in the description. So if it's the same for you, you know, you'll be able to just get right to it. Now it's going to take you to this folder where all the fonts are, okay? Now I look in this folder and it shows Baby's new bold is already in here. But the problem with it is Z Game Editor... Um, the HUD does not recognize open type font files, okay? It only recognizes true type font files. So what I got to do is convert this. Okay, you're going to want to go to this link. I'll have it down in the description. Drag that open type font file into it, and you're going to want to convert it to TTF, all right? Now just hit convert. You can add more files if you want. We'll just do the one. It says conversion complete, download, make sure you hit the right download. I use Adblock, so if you don't got Adblock, get that shit so no pop-ups or anything come up. There's still some pop-ups and stuff, but we'll just hit the download right here to get our file. Now, Baybest New Bold, we're going to rename rename this as Baybest, just so it's something different. Baybest Bold, okay? Now we got to go back to that directory and save it in there. Okay, so now we got to go to FL Studio, restart it. And it should be there now. Check it out, HUD. A text font. Baby, it's bold. There it is. Now I can go to add content text. There you go. That's how you add your own kind of font into FL Studio. And you only got to do that process, you know, once with the font that you want to use. You can mess with the font size. This this uh, the HUD text is pretty sick. You can do uh, blur and all of these you can create automation clips with. So the possibilities are endless. You can do this where the uh, shit starts glitching and stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But yeah, guys, if this video helped you in any way, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, hit that little bell. I really appreciate all that support, guys. We're almost at 500 subs and I can't thank you enough for that. So much love, everybody. Until next time, make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.